Good morning everyone and welcome to another Charles Marlow location tour, you lucky people. We've been up and down the east coast of Ibiza, we've been exploring and pampered on the amazing north coast of Ibiza. Be sure to check out both of those videos on our YouTube channel if you've not done so already. But today we are going to bring you a taste of the glamour, the fun, the exquisite beauty, the beaches of South Ibiza. So join me on a whistle-stop tour as we take a look at arguably some of Ibiza's most talked about spots. Now, if like me, you can consider yourself a beach connoisseur, then no visit to Ibiza is complete without a trip to here, says Salinas Beach. We're at the southernmost tip of the island right here, and this vast expanse of sand is one of the go-to destinations year round. In the winter, it's a vast open space, perfect for walking the dog and meeting up with friends for some brilliant hikes, plenty of which of those there are to do around here. And in the summer, as you can see, it's a hive of activity. Got some of Ibiza's best beach bars on this very beach. So Trinxa behind me, Jockey Club and Besso Beach are named just a few down there. So this is the place to come to for fun, a long lunch, and quite often a bit of a dance. But if it's all a bit too much for you, then fear not. South Ibiza can also bring you to places just like this. And boom, just like that, I've become the highest man in Ibiza, and that feels good, for I've brought you up to Satalaya, the highest point on the island. And if we're making a video of the south of Ibiza, which we are, then I didn't say much else than just take a look around from here. This is the viewpoint to get a grip of all of our surroundings. Look at everything I can see. Here to my right, I've got the beautiful town of Escubels, a quaint little village, always high on the wish list of places to visit from our clients for renting and for buying. Poroij, a fantastic bay with amazing properties on the peninsula, fantastic views you can get from each and every one of those. The next bay along, you would have heard of this one, Cala Yondao. Cala Yondao is where you go to have some fun when you're in the south of the island. The iconic Blue Marlin, the beautiful restaurant of Yamanja, which is open all year round, Tropicana Beach Club, and the hottest place to be right now, Restaurante Cali Yondao. All of that happens right there. We go along a little bit more, we get to a small bay, one of my favorites, Sacaleta. Absolutely beautiful, quaint little restaurant on this beautiful little bay. Actually, I'll talk myself into it. We're gonna go there properly in a minute and take a pretty look at that. Going along, Cesalinas, we've just been there. I can even see Playa de Mbosa on the southeast coast and aeroplanes gliding in to land at the nearby airport. From up here, there isn't much you can't see. And if we flip around here, I can even give you a sneak glimpse of the west. San Antonio, Calatrida, Calacomta, Calabasa. But hey, that's all for another video. Let me go and enjoy it for now and we'll see you soon. And I've kept good on my promise. We caught a glimpse of it when we were at the very top of Satellaya. Now I've brought you down here to Sacaleta, one of my favorite spots. So to tell you the reason why, a small, perfectly formed, quaint little cove here, which not only combines one of my genuinely favorite beaches on the island, but right next to me here, we most definitely have one of my favorite restaurants on the island. There's some really cool stuff to show you around here, some brilliant viewpoints, some historical brilliance up there with the earliest settlements known to Ibiza. But we'll get to all of that. First of all, it's lunchtime, I'm hungry. The great thing about coming to my favorite restaurant is I know exactly what I'm gonna have. It's bullet de peixe, a fantastic local stew combining fish and potatoes, and as we wash down with a cafe caleta, a local delicacy of coffee with a hint of rum and a few other fruity bits to go with it as well. That is delicious. Come join me as we eat.
Okay, so lunch done and feeling considerably heavier than I was about half an hour ago. Now the restaurant is undoubtedly one of the highlights of being down here at Sacoletta, but there are a couple of very cool things that I teased you with earlier that I want to show you. So follow me and we'll go take a look around. Now, when you do come to Sacoletta and you've had that delicious lunch, you are going to want to check out this incredible viewpoint. It gets very popular in the height of the summer. Let's go and take a look. Okay, so that viewpoint is a great bit of fun and well worth a visit, especially for those Instagrammers amongst you. But for the history lovers, I really want to show you this because this is incredible. An archaeological dig in the 1980s discovered this, the first human ruins from Ibiza. When the Phoenicians first settled here in 650 BC, this right here where I'm stood right now is where they settled. And right here you can see the remains of their first settlement, their first little town. That is fantastic. It's been preserved, it's right there, it's fenced off, it's there for you all to see. What I love about that is they chose here and it's a very difficult spot to argue with. Save for one or two super yachts in the foreground there, this view would have been exactly the same as what I'm looking at today. That for me is very special. Now, as cool as this place is, there is somewhere else I've just thought of that I want to show you that if you're talking about views of the south of the Bitha, must not be missed. And I have got exclusive access to it. Let's go take a look. Ah, hello again. Now, step inside and come with me. Now, I told you we would bring you to some of South Ibiza's most spectacular viewpoints, and very few of them are as spectacular as this one. Now, we love making these area tours for you, and we also love, of course, bringing you fantastic real estate. So why wouldn't I combine the two and bring you to the fantastic Villa Adastra, exclusively for sale through Charles Marlowe, I may add, and the perfect place to show to you that there are some incredible views of the South of Ibiza that money can buy. So we're right at the top of Kuwij Redu here, one of South Ibiza's highest points. So you can see behind me what spectacular views that brings and a great place to look at the south side of the island. I can see the aeroplanes landing in just here. I'm only 10 minutes drive from the airport. We just had a fantastic lunch in Sacoletta, a mere 10 minute drive away just over there. And throughout all this beautiful, lush, south Ibiza countryside, I can see a littering of some of Ibiza's most prestigious homes. None of which, if you ask me, are more impressive than this one right here. I maintain that this is the most spectacular view of the south of Ibiza from any private residence anywhere on the island. However, if there is one other place we can go to to really crank the spectacular levels up to 11, I think I know just where it is. We're going to go there right now. And here we are, welcome to my secret spot. 
What a day it's been looking at the south of Ibiza. We started off at the beach. I've taken you to one of my favorite restaurants. We've gone to the most spectacular viewpoint the south of Ibiza has to offer. We've even taken in one of my favorite villas and we've done it all in stifling heat of mid-summer. I'm glad to say now I can breathe a little bit more easily and I come to one of my favourite sunset spots. One of the great things about Ibiza is you are spoilt for choice when it comes to areas to look at the sun sinking into the sea. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is my hidden spot. Behind me we have the majestic Es Vedra. All kinds of myths and rumours you may have heard about that. That's a subject for another video. But something I can tell you for sure is there is a special energy in the air right now and I'm here to enjoy it and watch the end of the day sink away. If only there was an old friend of mine lying around here, a cold beer, that would make the day perfect. Oh, hey Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> 